Welcome back to RPF News. This is Bowen Chan reporting. Due to recent changes in government policies that have allowed for the unfettered growth of condominiums and urban sprawl across farmland, the prices of buying groceries has risen beyond the reach of most low-income families. Luckily, communities have started to empower themselves. Hi, I'm Antara Das reporting from, for iVideo, located at the corner of Sumac and Dundas. I'm here with Wally, the manager of this outdoor market. What is the business about? This is a business about uh, half the community, people and uh, economy. So what inspired you to do this business? Half uh, the community. Um, how are your uh, prices compared to the supermarket? Cheap. Okay, um, how has the business been so far? It's been okay so far. So what time do you open and what time do you close? Open at 11, close at 7. Uh, is, it Monday, is it Monday to Friday or seven days a week? No, it's Monday to Friday. Okay. Um, so why did you choose this place out of all the places in Toronto? Because that's the places is mostly people are for, so... Uh, do you think that other communities would benefit to this kind of market and why? No, it's only benefit the people from this community, so... So, do you plan to expand in the future? Sure, I'll see. I am here at the outside market and I'm here with one of the customers. Hi, what's your name? John. Uh, what did you buy? Uh, I got some Ontario peaches here and uh, a pineapple, $1.50. You can't beat that. Um, Four peaches and cream corn for a dollar. The prices here are crazy. They're so low, it ought to be against the law. What do you think if there were no more supermarkets and only outdoors markets? These kind of community-based uh, ventures are the way to go. So there you have it. Go check out your local neighborhood outdoor fruit market today. This is Bowen Chan signing off. RPTV was brought to you by the Regent Park Focus Media Arts Youth Center.